Big Board Sports with Crystal Stone. Good evening, everyone. I hope you're staying dry on this rainy Saturday. We'll get started with the U Albany Great Danes who are on the road looking to get their second CAA win at Towson. And it was a beautiful sunny day out there in Maryland. We'll pick it up in the second quarter. U Albany's Reese Poffenbarger finds Griffin Woodell, the freshman out of Glen Falls, for the 12 yard touchdown pass to go up 7 to 3. Then Poffenbarger can next with Marquise Dietz from two yards out. Looks like it could be a fumble there, but they call it a touchdown. And the Great Danes go up 14 to nine at the half. But the Tigers will respond with the uh, in the third with a one yard touchdown run to Devin Matthews to take it uh, the lead 17 to 14. And in the fourth quarter, Poffenbarger takes it himself to make it 24 to 17 U Albany. And with under a minute to go, the Great Danes defense stands up and stuffs the Tigers near the goal line. And U Albany with a huge win, 24 to 17. They're now 2 and 0 in the conference, 4 and 2 overall, and they'll head to New Hampshire next Saturday. Now we head out to Troy, where we have RPI hosting Ithaca. RPI coming in undefeated at 4 and 0, and they're facing the reigning Liberty League champs. Not the best weather for football, but as they say, the show must go on, and it did manage to get dry in the fourth quarter. RPI's quarterback Jay Kozanowski hits Sean Kelly for a nine-yard touchdown pass to put the Engineers on top, 14 to 10. But Ithaca will respond. Quarterback AJ Wingfield connects with Jalen. Leonard Osborne for the touchdown and the Bombers take a 17 to 14 lead but the engineers get back in it tying the game with a 39 yard field goal from Jared Elstein that takes the game into overtime but Ithaca would get the last word with Derek Baldwin drilling the game winning field goal and the Bombers win it 20 to 17 RPI's record goes to four and one they'll host Buffalo State next Saturday for homecoming weekend. Yeah, the Union Dutchman defeated Rochester on the road 21 to 17. Junior running back Jonathan Anderson rushed for 211 yards. They remain undefeated at 6 and 0 and will face Ithaca on the road next Saturday. Syracuse was also on the on the road taking on the North Carolina Tar Heels and Heisman candidate quarterback Drake May and we see why he's a candidate already up 17 nothing Drake May drops a 48 yard dime to Nate McCullum then he pitches it to John Copenhaver and the Tar Heels go up 27 nothing at the half and it was all Tar Heels all day they run away with it 40 to 7 Syracuse drops to 0 and 2 in the ACC play and they have an even even tougher test against number five Florida State next week. And the College of St. Rose women's soccer team approves to 11 and 0 after defeating St. Anselm on the road 7 to 2. They are currently ranked third in the country. Now let's switch over to some high school football. Green Tech hosting Gloversville. Now I was there covering this game and let me tell you it was pouring out there. Nevertheless, Gloversville jumps out to an early 14-6 lead in the first quarter. Second quarter, we have Braden Deer who breaks away toward 25 yards for the first down. Now that's going to set up this nice five yard touchdown run by Deer. Then the Huskies, right after that, they get the two point conversion and that's ran in by Kalen Poor of the quarterback to go up 22 to 6 in the Huskies roll 42 to 18. More high school football on the Callanan Industry Scoreboard. Cohoes with a big road win over Hudson's Falls Fort Edward 20 to 19, while Lake George Warrensburg Bolton dominates Cambridge Salem 54 to nothing. To nothing. Uh, Schuylerville shut out Grainville Whitehall 41 to nothing, and Voorheesville topped Helderberg Valley 34 to 7. For the rest of the reported scores from all of the high school sports, log on to our WNYT website and look for sports and the Callanan Industry Scoreboard. A former Shaker baseball star pitching his first MLB postseason game tonight. Jeff Hoffman out of Latham is a relief pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies, and he got some action on the mound today, including a strikeout to help the Phillies take a game one over the Atlanta Braves in the NLDS. Game two will be Monday night in Atlanta. And be sure to catch Honorado and Miller tomorrow morning at 6 right here on News Channel 13. That'll do it for Big Board Sports. Kumi, back over to you.